Sup, dogs? Welcome back to my Let's Play of um, Walking Dead. So when we last left off, we made it to the house to save the, to save or find people that we're trying to find. I don't even know what I'm talking about. It's ti I'm tired, man. So let's check the house Set out. Beeping. We got a walkie-talkie, it looks like, so that's awesome. He just puts it in his pocket. Doesn't even try to use it. Let's try to look mm, at me. Marsh house. That's a Savannah area code. But that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Babysitter? It's in here. So I'm just looking through the house, finding anything good, hearing noise. There are three new messages. Apparently it's an answering machine, which is good. Apparently he just drinks whatever's in a cup. Could have been zombie blood. Who knows? That's disgusting, man. Disgusting! Wait, what are we looking for? There it is. Answering machine. Maybe there's something on there. Yeah, let's do it. Three new messages. Message one. Left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks uh -oh. so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Clementine. Message 2. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. Uh -oh. We love you. We love you. We love you. Some some heavy shit, dogs. All right, let's keep going. Daddy? Oh, oh. Hello? Hello? You need to be quiet. I'm not a monster. Who is this? Are you okay? Let's go with... Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me. But I'm hiding until my parents come home. Hmm. How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. <laughs> uh. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Where are you? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. Smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. <laughs> oh, shit! Kick ass! Oh, he slips on the blood again. Oh. Kick that bitch! Come on, you bitch! Just dump my boot to your face! And just leave me alone! Oh, 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 oh,
looks like a gecko. Man. A gecko, dogs. <laughs> Hi there. So much blood, dude. So much. <gasps> Did you kill it? Yes. I don't know. I think so. Sometimes they come back. <gasps> Have you killed one? No, but they get shot a lot. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want wow. my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Look for help before it gets dark. Get out of here once the sun goes down. We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, Safety it's not daylight. safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. Alright, dogs. We got the little girl Clementine. She's gonna help us out. And, uh... At least there's someone alive now. Seems like everybody's dead now. Sucks ass. But, uh, let's keep going. She was hiding in the treehouse all by herself the whole time. That's crazy, dude. Can you imagine you're eight years old and you're seeing all this shit happening? Gotta be some tough balls, man. Tough, big balls. Touching the floor. Does it wobble? Probably. I don't know. Oh, look! There's two people right there. They don't look like zombies. Oh, man. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. Alright, let's go see what they are, man. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? Uh, the, I don't know. I don't know. Neither do I. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Alright, let's see what happens then. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. The chomp, dudes! The chomp! What's going on? Do you know what the hell this is? No idea. So you've seen them then? You could say that. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee. Sean this Green. is Clementine. And Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... I'm a babysitter, a neighbor, just some guy. A neighbor. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... Your monster's coming. Oh, shit. Go. Gotta get out of here, dog. Gotta get... Let's go. Fuck it all. Let's do it. Push the shit. Go! Man, he's strong. That's a good thing, man. Now what? Now what? Now what? Push it! Oh! Push it! Damn it! Oh, Clementine is strong. Look at that. Clementine? Oh! Clementine! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Look how many there are. What are those guys? Neighbors, too? Oh man, this guy drives like ass. <laughs> well, it's in the zombie apocalypse, I'll drive like ass too. I don't know. It's crazy. There's not even a road. Oh, it's a dirt road. You know, like in SimCity, they always have those.
Hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snip. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It tomorrow was night? nice to meet you both. It's interesting. It's like nothing happened here. Thank God you're okay. Oh, I was man. worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Boys, well, the lifesaver. Or... We uh, need a place to stay. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. So it's just you and your daughter then. Oh, not his daughter. He was her neighbor. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. <laughs> okay then. Um... Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's not doing so good. Of course. I not. can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. All right then. <laughs> Let's have a look. Yeah. This is swollen to hell. Ooh, it hurts like hell. <laughs> It hurts like hell. <laughs> I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Herschel? Like in the show? What? How'd this happen? Uh, it's... Uh, uh, shit. Die! I don't even remember. It's crazy back there in the city. It must be. What type of danger has the girl seen? She's safe now. You're serious about taking care of her then? What choice is there? House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm um, looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. Doesn't seem necessary? I don't know necessary? what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Oh, your, your son son's is right. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Man got run over. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. What? We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. <laughs> okay, that'd be preferable. <laughs> just There's have blankets to shoot and me. such in the barn. Crazy. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, it smells like smells like shit. <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't talk like that. That was a swear. <laughs> I miss my mom and dad. That was a swear. <laughs> How far is Savannah? Pretty damn Pretty far. far. Pretty oh, okay.
flashback of his wife. I don't know. Hey, get up. Mm. Oh, I'm itchy. <laughs> well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. <laughs> dad, we're in no offense. There's a tractor and everything. <gasps> oh, we better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. <laughs> That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck. Where do parents name their kids Duck? We're from Fort Lauderdale. We were on our way back before things up and went bananas. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Ah. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. You know Duck? On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. Duck looks like the kid from Toy Story, the evil one, who had the... I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. The one with the rocket and, like, flying toys up, and he had all kinds of messed up toys. He looks like that kid. You guys don't know what I'm talking about. Google it, and you'll know what I'm talking about. Because it's pretty obvious that he's a dick. Dun dun dun! You have such pretty hair. All right, guys. Hope you guys tense. enjoyed the video. I'm the Mad Dog Nine Six Seven Four Four. Uh, this has been some Walking Dead, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace and awesome sauce. Bye. Hey. hey.